Hey, babe, just calling to see how long until you're going to get home. About 25, 30 minutes. Awesome. Sounds good. I got the fireplace going. Found this awesome series on Netflix called High Score. So when you get here, we're just going to take some time, relax, and Netflix and chill. All right. I'll see you soon. Love you, too. What is going on at Games Family? Killer Penguins here, representing USA in all of its glory. The day has finally come to reveal to you a build like no other. A build that'll blow your mind, that has features and stuff that's never been seen before. Some may even call it the Swiss Army Knife of cocktail tables. That's right, I bring to you the Legends Ultimate Cocktail Table. 30 days. Not much sleep, not much time spent with the missus, which is why she's so stoked to finally come home, spend some quality time together, relax and Netflix and chill. But before that can even happen, I need to... No, no. I must show you all the features that this cocktail table has. So sit back and be prepared to have your mind blown.
And there you go, guys. Did you just have your minds blown by my entry into Season 2? Build your own Legends. The Legends Ultimate Cocktail Table. Now, when I went into this build, it wasn't just about having things, making things work, but it was also about the aesthetics, making it look pretty also. And this build itself happens to fall under the category of looks may be deceiving. You'll look at this build and you'll be like, there is no way to build this thing with a $300 budget. And you're wrong. So we're going to get into the build here. We're going to go more in depth about this. Then we're going to get into the budget there. So, in regards to aesthetics, there's a lot of things that we wanted to add into this build. But obviously, it would throw us over the budget. So, with this build, it is light gun ready. And... We got light guns. You thought. So, I'm going to go ahead in the description down below. I made these little light guns to give the visual effects. I'll provide the file there. So, if you want to print these out yourself to show off your build, make it look pretty, I'll give that to you guys for free. Print it out on a printer, take a cardboard piece of cardboard, glue it on, cut it out, boom, got yourself two light guns for visuals. Make your friends jealous visually. And then, of course, if you want to go above the budget, you can get actual light guns, hook them up. But we do have the holsters here. Now, a lot of the stuff on this build is 3D printed. And I'm going to provide files for you guys for pretty much all the 3D printed stuff on this build. And the cool thing about the 3D printing is a lot of your local libraries have 3D printers, will print stuff for you for free. So, the only limitations with that is, well, of course, the library has to have the printer. But you normally set up a time with them, and you're limited to the color of filament they have. But the cool thing about 3D printing is you can go ahead and you can, you know, sand it down. You can prime it and paint it. So, color, if they don't have the color you want, you can go ahead and do that. But... So we have 3D printed internal holsters. The reason I wanted to go internal was there's a hole inside there. And so I'm going to, when I have actual light guns for the higher up budget build, we can actually go ahead and run the cables inside. And that's the one thing that's super annoying about light gun builds is the cables just hanging, looking awful. So we want this thing, in the words of Bobby Vu, looking clean like a mother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To die for, Bobby Vu, that's for you. The cables will just go right inside. So, I'm going to take these off here. So, I'm going to provide that in the description below. And I went ahead and I made this little template. So, if you want to do this build, if you want to add this on, you just go ahead and print this template out to get the size of the hole that you need and then you'll cut a top and downward angle and they'll slide right in. Now if you don't like the internal holsters I did go ahead and print external holsters which go ahead oh. <clears throat> how they work is you have this cap here and the side here so you can go ahead and these would go on the side of your build. So if you like external holsters, have those. I'll provide those links for you too. So you, now you have options. And so you'll see a little cap here. What that's for is you can put your screwdriver through, screw it to the side, 
and then you go ahead and cap it off for a nice clean look. So I'll provide that for you. Also, these guys right here, the Space Invaders. These things are cool. So they actually pop off. And there's a wall mount piece there, and it clips on. And so what's cool about these is, I'll go ahead and put this back on here. So it just goes like that, pops on. So I have one printed right here. So it looks like this. So you have options. You can do a shelf, which we have there, as you saw in the video. I want the shelf we can put our phone on. If you have little miscellaneous things you do there, have different kind of hooks. You can go ahead, and so it just goes in here like this, pops in, boom, like that. Then we have, down there it's just single hooks, so you have left, right, and middle hooks. But also, say for instance, you just like the Space Invaders guy and you don't want any of that, we have these clear ones that just go right in place there like that pop it on I'll do these other two real quick boom like this pop it on boom there you go so yeah that's cool and I'll be providing this for you guys too you guys can print that out and it has, the files will have everything there for you. So if you want different Space Vader characters. Um, also, as you saw on the side, we also had our Pac-Man headphone holders. So I'll also provide that link for you guys if you guys liked that, the Pac-Man headphone holders. Um, go ahead and provide that for you too, 3D printed. Also, if you just want some generic headphone holders, mounts, I'll provide those too. These are just real generic ones. Boom, you just mount to the side and hold your headphones. All right, so another thing, there's a couple things obviously in this build that um, would also throw us over the budget. So. We don't actually have speakers in there because they would throw us over the budget, but 3D printed speaker grills, this is where the speakers are going to go. So we have those that will be there. Also, on the back, there are two fan grills, so I'll show those, and I'll provide those in the description below. So when you're doing this build, you want to think ahead so you know what your budget is, and so you want to think ahead. So I'm like, okay, well, I want to have light guns eventually. So we go ahead and we cut the holes for the light guns. Um, I want to go ahead and add speakers and uh, fans. And the reason I have two, two fans that I'm going to eventually add is an exhaust fan as well as an intake fan to bring air in and push air out. So when you're doing your build ahead of time, even though you might not have the budget to do what you want to do. You want to go ahead and pre-cut your holes and get it all ready so when you do get those parts, you can go ahead and put those in. So when we go ahead and get our speakers, they'll go down here where those speaker covers are. Right here, we have a space for the trackball, but obviously trackballs would throw us way over the budget. So I went ahead and 3D printed and 3D designed this half trackball look to give the visual effect of where it is and we left the space there so I'll go ahead and provide that if you guys want to print that out as well you can do that I don't have um in here any spinners but there are a 3d spinner that you can actually print in that so I'll provide that in the link below also so if you want to give your build a visual look with spinners we can do that also all right we're going to talk about the fireplace here now you might think that these are expensive. You might think these are expensive, but they're not. They're a little tiny, small fireplace. Looking on the Facebook Marketplace, these things go for $10 to $20. People just give them away. 
I've even seen ones give, being given away for free where it doesn't actually provide the heat, but it does do the visual. And because it's partially broken, but we has the aesthetics, they're giving it away for free. So just, you know, check the Facebook marketplace. These things are cheap. It does actually have a switch down here for the light, as well as a switch to do heat also. And you might think, well, why would you want heat? It's going to, you know, heat up the inside. No, that's not the case. So in the top of it, it's actually pulling air in. And then out the front here, it'll blow the heat out. So it's almost kind of like an exhaust pulling the air in from inside the cabin and also blowing it out. Kind of smart. So yeah, so we got the fireplace. Something cool. I wanted something, something different than a coin door or a lot of people are familiar with putting like mini fridges and stuff. Didn't want that to be the case. So I wanted to do something different. I'm also going to talk about the letters. You have your letters, your arrows, your volumes, home, back. There's a lot of different ways you can do these. I went ahead and I made these up in Photoshop. I'll provide that link for you guys. And I have a Cricut, so I went ahead and put it the file in my Cricut design space and had those cut out. You could do paper and you know, glue that down for cheap on the cheap. Um, you could also go to your local like Michaels or Walmart or whatnot, and they have a lot of stickers that have letters on it. And yeah, it won't be permanent, but a thing of stickers with the letters and stuff are 10 cents, cheap as anything. So there you, you have options that you can do. Also, you could easily just, you know, get paint or a paint marker and paint it on there too if you wanted to do that. So there's definitely a lot of different options. You don't have to go crazy, nothing expensive at all. So let's go ahead and now talk about this here, the Plexi. So I wanted to come and find a way to hold the plexiglass on. And so I 3D designed and printed these clips that pinch in and I put a piece of Velcro, the soft side, on the bottom there, and they just slide in, and they just hold on there. So I'll provide a link to that also if you guys want a nice way to hold your Plexi on the top there. Now we're going to talk about the size of this thing. It has a 32-inch screen inside. The top is 4 feet by 2 feet. The base part here, it's a little shorter, running 3 feet 5 inches. By two feet then you have your control panels that stick out a little further it has a hinge down here and using some gas struts on the back there which allow it to come up and go back down it also has little latches that hold it down then we have a hinge over here which allows for that awesome angle for pinball because Pinball ain't that great flat. We all want that angle. And we made that happen here. So went ahead and cut out that piece. Cut out the piece of the plexi. Shaved a bunch of it down. Then there's a bunch of different ways that you could come up with how to open that flap. You could have a, you know, a piece of string, a tab, anything like that. I just went ahead, grabbed a safety pin that I had, cut that tip off because we don't want to poke ourselves and just went ahead and bent that at an angle. And then this slides right down inside. Easy, turn it, and then it pulls it right up. And then inside here is a piece of wood, which is what allows me to pick it up. And then I have another piece of wood sitting inside that once I pull it up, slide the piece of wood under that wood beam which keeps it sitting at that angle and then of course when you're done with it you go ahead slide it back and then close it up in the back you also saw we had ethernet we had three hdmis we had two usbs so those are hooked up it's a female to female end so on the inside you can plug up so if you don't want to do Wi-Fi, you can hook up other 
HDMI devices to go to the monitor here to go to the screen. You can do all that. We have our joysticks. We have our A, B, and C, X, Y, Z here. Second player. You have your volume up, volume down, your home, rewind, slash back, player one, player two. Over here, we got our power switch. Boom. Got to keep people from pressing the power. Boom. So when it's off, it's red. When we click it in, turn it on, it's blue. We can wire it up to where if it's off, it doesn't show any color. If it's on, it can show blue. You can connect the colors together and make it purple. Um, don't have any lights if you don't want that. So we're going to go over to the sides now. And I did forget to mention, as you saw on each side, there's the port has USB, has a 3M jack. So if you don't have a pair of Bluetooth headphones and you still want to use some headphones to keep it quiet or not, we have the jack there. You can plug that in, have your headphones going. The USB, as you saw, charge, you can charge a phone. But what's also cool about the USB, let me go ahead and lift this up real quick. Just look how satisfying that is. I'm gonna grab our panel deck here, USB, we can actually go ahead and plug it in, that plugs up, and not only can we charge our phone, our devices, but we can actually connect USB devices up, and everything functions and works. So not only can you charge devices, but you can hook up USB devices if you have a thumbstick, say with coin ops or anything on it, and you don't want to plug it inside, you don't want to plug it in the back. If you have those, you can easily just plug come up here, plug it up here, and then take it away. Close it off right there. So that's that's pretty cool in my eyes. That not only can you charge your device, but you also have the ability to add other controllers or other USB devices that work and function as well. Let's go ahead. We're going to close this, shut it down. All right. And so now over here, this is where things get interesting. So we also do over here have our home, our rewind back, volume down, volume up that are tied into there. Player one, Player two over there are track balls. We have the space for those there. But we have left flipper, left nudge, right flipper, right nudge. Then we have front nudge down here. Then you have a plunger button. Also, if you hold it in, the plunger will go back as soon as you let the button go. The plunger goes, or you can tap it. And then we also went ahead and tied in another set of flippers and nudges up here. And the reason for that, if you, did, if you didn't already know, you know, we have our seat. You know, this is, this is my stool. Bear with me. I don't have any gaming stools. But, yeah. Go ahead. Play pinball like this. Sitting down, nudge, flipper, up here if you wanted to. Oh, this, I, feel like a, I feel like one of those motorcycle riders. The handlebars up there. But if you're done sitting and you want to stand, you can do this too. But to me, I'm kind of tall. For other people that are really tall also, that's what this is for. Boom. Get a nice rest here. Perfect reach. What else also really cool about this is you can do your nudging with your leg down here like this. You can even do the plunger with your leg down here too. So everything is just together. Feels right. Feels nice. So boom. 
you know, if you want to break your back, that's cool. Up here, taller people feel more comfortable. Gives us options. All right, now we're going to take a look on the inside here. Let's first just admire this beautiful cable management. This all comes down to preference. If you want to cable manage your stuff or not, it's up to you. I am all about spending hours and hours and hours making it look nice, keeping it clean, because if something goes bad, I know where everything's at. Put little labels on it. Easy enough. All right, so here, that, my friends, is a Nintendo Switch mount. So if you have a Nintendo Switch, we can, with a controller, hook it up, and use actual buttons, and play pinball, as well as other games. So that's a little mount there. I have a Nintendo Switch dock here. I'm just going to just show you real quick. It just goes in like this. Boom. Pops in. And this is 3D printed mount. I'll provide the link for this one as well. And the cool thing about this mount also is if you want a nice way to store your games, it has a little cartridge holder right in the front. So, put your games, hold seven games, so, put all your games in there if you want, as well as the Nintendo Switch. Then we have the Legends Connect board. I created a custom mount for the Legends Connect, so I'll go ahead and provide that in the link as well. If you guys want to pr print that off, you guys are more than happy to do so. All right, before we get into gameplay, there's one last thing I want to go over, and that's in regards to if you have a monitor or TV that has a remote or you get a universal remote and hook it up, understanding what type of signal your TV accepts for the remote. Some TVs don't require you to directly point it at the sensor. In my case, mine does, and I actually went ahead and drilled a small hole right there, did a test, it works out, so we can go ahead. Turn the volume. That's the volume. If you have other sources, or anything like that, go ahead and bring up our source menu. If we just wanted to power off the TV, any of that kind of stuff, our remote works. So just keep that in mind. All right, let's go ahead and get into some gameplay. All right. So, got a joystick, left, right. Up and down, down crouches, up looks up, look up there, A jump, B slicing, dicing, X, we can throw some apples, and that, gonna die here probably, take an apple boy. And one of the things I do plan on doing is taking these generic sticks out. These are eight-way sticks. You can't change them. Tossing those out, I am going to get a Mag Plus that allows you from the top just to pull up and twist. And that will let us quickly switch between four and eight-way controls. So trying to play like Burger Time or Pac-Man, anything that... This four-way is pretty difficult with an eight-way. All right, let's go, aliens. Dang it. Pac-Man this way. Obviously, switch the screen and do Pac-Man long ways. But as you can see, we can go ahead and still play our game in horizontal mode if you wanted. So again, because we have an eight-way joystick, it's going to be a little, a little harder.
So even though we're going to do some vertical games, since I'm the only one playing, it's not a two-player, we're going to go ahead and just angle this up, take our little trusty safety pin, pull it up. Boom. As easy as that. Couldn't be easier. This Pac-Man on the vertical. That was close. Ooh, I didn't know if I was going to make that or not. Ah, oh, missed it. But yeah, so there's Pac Man. The rewind works. If you want to rewind. Oh, I don't want to die. Fix our mistake. Alright. Now let's go home. Quit. A. Hey. So now we got our button down here. Now if we just tap it, plunder belly goes, hold it down, plunder goes all the way back. Now if we come down here, do that too. Nudging, nudging. Nudge. And if you want to do the front nudge, get our plunger ready to go. Boom. Right nudge, left nudge, front nudge. There we go. And now on to everybody's favorite part, the budget. Per the contest rules, we were required to stay within a $300 budget, which was done. Here's a list of all the parts to replicate this build and the prices that the average person would pay going into a retail store. The only thing not on this list is the Legends Connect board itself, as that was provided to us for the contest. The total comes in just shy of $300, coming in at $299.81. Now it is possible to even create the same build for cheaper. You just have to do your research. Check Facebook Marketplace, check yard sales, check yard sale groups in your area, offer up. There are a ton of resources and places you can go that people may have something, you know, such as a TV without a stand or a remote and selling it for $10, $20 cheap. So definitely do your research, check those things out because you could definitely come out even cheaper creating the same build. And there you have it, guys. The Legends Ultimate Cocktail Table. I hope this thing blew your mind, exceeded your expectations, and made USA proud. Because I know I'm proud. So just some few last minute things. Again, the 3D printed files will be available to you. As I mentioned earlier, check your local libraries. A lot of them have printers now. Just set up a time and get stuff printed for free. You just bring the files in. Got that. Um, anything I did in Photoshop, 
like the letters and that I'll provide to you as well. Also, the biggest thing finding deals is check out Facebook Marketplace, check out OfferUp, check out also people create Facebook groups for yard sales in your area. You can get stuff for cheap. I recently looked on Facebook, wood, $20 a piece. The fireplace, average, 10 to $20. I even saw someone giving one away for free because the heater part didn't work, but the visuals still work. So if I just want the visuals, boom, it's free. Just got to go pick it up. Um, TVs on the cheap. If you want to go a little bit smaller, 24 inch, 10 bucks. This right here, 32 inch, 20 bucks. A lot of the ones you want to look for, they have no stands, no remotes. It's fine. We don't need a stand. We don't need a remote. If you want to do a remote, you could get a universal one later on. But a lot of people are just giving those away for cheap because they don't have the stands or the remotes. They want to get rid of them. Also, older TVs with the composite cables. All that stuff works. So you could even come out cheaper than the th right below the $300 to do the same thing. So you just got to check your sources. Keep an eye out. Plexiglass. You can go to your local Lowe's, Home Depot. They have a lot of scrap there. You can get take it off their hands. It's their trash, your treasure. Um, salvage. A lot of people throw away old cabinets that have buttons and stuff in it. A speaker, speaker grills, all that stuff works. So just take a look at what's available to you people throwing away stuff that you can salvage out of. Again, I want to thank you guys. I hope you guys love this build. I hope you enjoyed it. The voting needs your guys' votes to win this thing. If you guys liked what you saw, I would love, appreciate your vote because we want to be crowned USA Season 2 Build Your Own Legends Champion. I got this belt, but it's falling apart. I need your guys' help. To bring the belt to reality. I made this thing. To keep my motivation going. But it's starting to fall apart. And we need the real thing. And we need to make USA proud. So. Your vote counts. I hope you guys will vote for me. Hope you guys love the bill. And again the biggest thing. Looks may be deceiving. You can make something look pretty. People think it's expensive. But it's really not. Again, thank you guys. Look forward to it. USA all the way.